be it restaurant though, be it mama put to stop eating any of them. So when it comes to run, you can even run at, at least. If you say run, you should be able to run. So at the end of the day, you're not ending up, you will not end up just eating, paying landlord. Your one stop shouldn't be your last. So make sure you subscribe, like, share. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosemary. If you're just seeing this chubby fine gear for the first time, you are the right place. Thank you. Please join this family. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for always being part of my family. I really appreciate. Guys, today we're talking about this economy. <laughs> yes, this economy. Things are really expensive and it's going up daily, every day. These things I'm about to tell you are the tips and tricks that I've used that have saved me a lot of money. So guys, if this is something you like to watch, please keep on watching. The first tip I will tell you is that stop eating outside. Guys, be it restaurant to be it mama puto, stop eating any of them. Just please reduce it. It will even help you. It's healthier when you cook at home. You save money. Guys, imagine you come out in the morning, like for someone like me that do like 9 to 5, I come out in the morning, I buy breakfast, I buy lunch, I buy, I, I go back home, and maybe I buy dinner or something. The amount I spend is a lot. So what I do is that I bring food to work every day. Guys, that's what I just do. I cook in the, I wake up in the morning very early, I prepare my, I prep breakfast, and I eat it once a day to just save me stress. And even if I'm hungry, I can munch on biscuits. That's what I do. So please stop buying food in restaurants because these restaurants' food are expensive. Even some restaurants like sell for 500 naira before. They've carried that 500 naira food now to 900 and they're not selling the 500, they're not selling egg instead of 500 naira food. So please, please stop buying food outside. Try and prepare your own meal. Your meal is more healthy than even buying food outside. My second point is book buying but for this one if you have the means please book buy i always have a list i write out i like i keep the list of my previous markets every month i keep it to always go back to check it will help you check what you've prepared last time what you've done and what you're supposed to do what you've missed out i write out my list and i do book buying book buying has really saved me time it has saved me energy it has saved me stress because you go to the market once you get all this thing that you need but if you don't have the means please buy as little even if it's buying at least to, as little as for two weeks or even a week it will save you than going to the market every time and for example let me give this instance imagine you are buying meat two five every week if you close your eye and you buy meat of ten thousand naira, it will save more than the two to five week meat that you buy every week so please if you have the means that i use if you have the means please book buy it saves you a ton a lot a lot of stress my next point is go for cheaper option guys this one i cannot overemphasize this in this economy you need to go for cheaper option i know we are used to certain certain things that we're already used to that we don't like to change but at this point in time there are cheaper options go for cheaper options i'll put some pictures on the screen for you to see that cheaper option go for cheaper option for example if you're eating noodles and you eat indomie noodles there are other noodles that you can eat that are cheaper you can just try them out and you I'm, i bet you will find one that is cheaper that you will try and you will enjoy it even even for me what i do in my household now there is, there is this i used to eat um they call it titus fish or scumbia here i eat scumbia fish i like it a lot but since it became king of the markets i just stopped buying it i started buying another kind of fish that was cheaper than it and guys you need to just go for cheaper option at this point in time you need to go for cheaper option there are cheap options that are i'm not saying to go for something that is not of quality there are cheap options that are of quality not the one that you you are used to buying so you need to just try and change the kind of the brands you buy and go for brands that are still good but are of cheaper option to my next point slow with the season guys in this season where for example I'm, let me use this season particular season now tomatoes is really expensive you don't need to break the bank to press stew you can buy thin tomatoes and prepare stew you buy tin tomatoes, you buy shombo, everything you prepare, you still prepare a good pot of stew that nobody will even know. You can even buy a little bit of tomatoes to add. But for me, what I do in this season that tomatoes is really expensive, I just switch to vegetable sauce. I prepare vegetable sauce, we use it to eat rice and all any anything in my household. So go with the flow. If yam is so expensive in this season, you buy potato. Whatever that is expensive, there's something that whatever that, that is not in season, there's something that can always replace it. So please try and go with the flow. Don't be stagnant to one thing so that you will not break the band because you want to buy something. So be, go with the flow. It is really important to go with the flow of the season. Whatever season we are in, go with that flow, season flow. 
just know that at this particular time this thing you are used to eating will still come back in season so just go with the flow next point reduce the way you go to supermarket guys me i'm a victim of always going to supermarket one by some i'll go to supermarket one by some i'll go to supermarket one by some i'll go to supermarket guys i've reduced the way i go to supermarket i go to my local market very well now Personally, I don't like markets. Anybody that know me knows I hate market. I hate, I even hate the stench of market. The way it's so, I prefer to go to supermarket. But since things are really expensive in this economy, I don't want to deceive myself that I'm trying to still keep up with what I don't like and what I like. I go to the local market, and in fact, before I used to go to local market around my area. I'm, I'm trying to go to the local market that is a big one so that I get things at cheaper rates. Me, these things you will buy them at cheaper rates than buying them in the supermarket. If you even look at the, the price difference, you will know that you are buying it at a cheaper rate. So please go to, reduce the way you go to the supermarket. I know that some things I'll buy in the supermarket, like all these chicken fries and the rest of them. We always buy them in the supermarket, we don't buy them in the market. So you can still buy that one in the supermarket, but reduce the way you go to the supermarket at minimum, very minimum, and go. To the local market in your area there's always a local market in your area that will serve you what a supermarket is going My to last save. point i left this point to be the last because it is the one that is really important in this economy guys please have an emergency fund <sighs> guys for me it is really important to have an emergency fund. I know that we cannot say you cannot save everything even if it's five five thousand naira that you remove from your salary i do it nine to five and things are really expensive and salary is not forthcoming like it's not increasing so it's not as if i'm going to tell you that ah i keep no even if it's five five thousand naira from your salary please try and keep it for emergency fund so at the end of the day you're not ending up you will not end up just eating paying landlord or sorting out yourself and you don't even have any emergency fund because we don't even know what this economy is leading us to so when it comes to run you can even run at, at least if you say run you should be able to run so please keep an emergency fund if you in the like people that do business they have this thing they call akawo I, i'm not saying I'm, i don't support it though but they, it's people that know how it works for them it work for them if you are in the, if you're in the office you people can even do it together and it, you are sure that that one is going to even come out and another thing that will help you is like for me what i do personally in my office we have this contribution we do every month to pay a certain amount of money so at the end of the year we can get some certain things that will help us in december because you will not be buying rice and every other all those rice tin tomatoes all those other things will help you so these are things that we do so that at least it will help soften your life a little bit so what am i trying to say at the end of the day keep an emergency fund no matter how small it is remove it from your salary because we don't know where this economy is leading us tomorrow we don't know anything about this economy if you watch up until now i have not considered subscribing to my channel please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up share if you can comment and let's talk in the comment section if there's any other thing i've missed out that you know that can help us survive in this economy because i know most of my viewers are ladies and women in fact so if there's anything that I know that you know i've missed out so every person will read the rest in the comment section thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next video Bye.